from the Scripps Studios, this is 10 News. There it is, history revived in Mission Beach, and it's just in time for the 4th of July, the plunge reopening. As 10 News reporter Amanda Brandeis explains, it's been years since the public's been able to take the plunge. When the plunge opened in 1925, it was the centerpiece of Belmont Park. Now newly renovated, the hope is it'll serve generations to come. Thank you for everybody for being here today as we celebrate the reopening of the plunge at Belmont Park. This moment was long in the making for Mission Beach. I remember a lot of good times here. These are pictures of the original construction of the plunge back in uh, 1924. Terry Curran moved to Mission Beach in 1937. He and a friend compiled some of the community's memories in this book. It's been part of the San Diego landscape and part of the lifestyle for all those years. What I remember about the plunge were the issues and the concerns about how we could swim and still be safe. Uh, when things would fall from the sky, it wasn't rain. It was the plaster from the ceiling. But today, the plunge is almost unrecognizable. Curran remembers coming here when he was five. That was only 80 years ago. And now a new generation can begin making their own memories. Three, two, one. The renovated plunge features floor-to-wall glass ceilings and a retractable roof, but also incorporates some of the building's original features, replicating tiling and original archways. Part of the new Fit Athletic Mission Beach Gym, the facility also offers beach views throughout. This is absolutely special, incredible. After years of sitting vacant, there's finally new life in this historic landmark. Amanda Brandeis, 10 News. The plunge will open to the public tomorrow. Day passes start at $15. There are also membership options. Something